The worst couples ever. I just got bored. Okay, okay, how about you? Yes. What happened? I, get, I lose interest too quick. What is going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again. And this is where I some wild clips of the worst couples I can find. And look what my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, this is definitely not good either. And this guy is absolutely insane for doing this. Basically, I guess he wasn't getting enough matches on Tinder. So he decides to set up a fake dating profile of another man, like another model. And he's getting a ton of matches. And except he actually goes on these dates and records the girl's experience. And then his excuse is, well, he's not getting enough matches in the first place. So this gives him no choice but to act like somebody else and then ends up calling the woman shallow for not liking how he looks a woman is not shallow for liking a man's appearance and just not liking yours that's how attraction works and instead of complaining and acting like a different person i don't know why this guy doesn't focus on himself and actually pull woman the right way but check out this clip it absolutely blew my mind that some people do this hi how's it going good what are you doing here what, what are you, you mean with the bread right yeah you are why why is that why is that? He's a male model. You know he's a male model, right? What? You know he's a male model, right? No. Yeah, he's a male model. Why? Why? Like, can I ask you a question? Why you want to meet up with him? Okay, I'm leaving. Why? Really weird. Why? I don't understand. He's a male model. Are you that shallow or what? I didn't know that. He's a, he's a good looking man. Come on. You don't want to give me a chance? I don't understand you. How is it weird? I don't get any Tinder matches. That's bullshit. Can you tell me why I'm ugly? I'm an ugly guy. Yo, I just can't stand this guy's attitude. Calling yourself ugly multiple times won't make a woman feel bad for you enough where she actually dates you. That's literally what his tactic is. He's like, oh, I'm ugly. You know I'm ugly. Of course, she's going to say no just to be polite. But instead of just doing that, actually just focus on yourself. Just so embarrassing and so cringe to watch. Really, I wouldn't get any Tinder matches. That's bullshit. You would not. If I would approach you, you would not give me a chance. That's bullshit. I know it because I've been rejected 20 times before in my life. And in a, that mean. yes, it does. Yes, it does. You know how many girls meet up with that guy? That doesn't mean. Anything. Yes, it does mean something. He's a male model. Come on, you match with him. You wanted to meet up with him. E even even after you texted him, you're like, uh, even after you're te you texted him, you still wanted to meet up with him. Come on, man. Are you are you that shallow? And this text was also insane. I can't believe this woman decided to say this on the first date. I guess this guy wanted to meet up with her and decided to go somewhere like Applebee's as a first date. Some people may hate that. But whatever. I guess this guy didn't want to blow a lot of money on a girl. He just doesn't know yet. And well, I guess she just wanted to be very blunt with him asking about how much he makes. She doesn't date broke guys. She's very high maintenance. I don't know why people use that excuse. Oh, I'm very high maintenance. Like, no one's going to just pay for you just because they want to. You got to prove yourself first. And I guess this girl just didn't prove herself at all. And I hope this guy does not go on a date with her again. Yeah, I wanted to ask you. Yeah. How much money do you make? Yeah, yeah I wanted to ask you. Yeah. How much money do you make? Like, I, I don't, I don't want to seem like, a, you know, interested in like money and stuff, but I just want to come out from the get go to tell you, like, I think, I'm not a gold digger or anything, but I just don't go out with both boys. I think so, I, I made good enough. To, and know. I know you just took me to Applebee's, like, I get it, maybe you don't want to take me to the most fanciest place like on the first date, but never again are you going to take oh, me well, next time, next time we can go somewhere else. But... Like, Applebee's is not acceptable. I, I am not, I'm high well, We're just getting to know each other. You're not even my girl. Well, yeah, but about? this is There's dating to marry, right? <laughs> well, who knows? And if I date, it's not to waste my time, so I'm not going to be going out and going to you know, cheap restaurants. And this text was absolutely terrible as well. I guess this wife caught her man cheating on a date with somebody else and I guess she just decides to pull up a seat right next to him and then give him a couple slaps that I'm probably gonna crop out and then also pour drinks on the woman across. Check out this clip. Then this next one, I guess this guy decides to interview a bunch of women on why they broke up with their spouse, their ex, their boyfriend, whatever. And I guess this was the response. I just broke up with one. Why is that? Because they're too needy. What was he doing? 
Um, asking to hang out. Imagine trying to ask your girl to hang out. Pass. Disgusting. Hard pass. Why is that? Because I don't got time to babysit a man's feelings. I don't, I'm not really like attracted to them. Why not? I don't know, like when they give me too, atten too much attention, I'm like... In this next one, I guess this guy decides to talk about why women don't pay for the bill. And if they don't pay after three dates, it's an instant ghost. To be honest, I kind of agree. I'm not going to let a girl pay ever. That's just my mentality. I'm always going to be paying, especially if it's, you know, if it's on a date with me. But if she does offer, it's a really nice gesture. And I kind of get what this guy's coming from. The thing that men don't know about women about dating in this generation. Like, when y'all do something wrong and we try to tell y'all, y'all think we're tripping. Y'all don't hear us out. Y'all got it all wrong. What's one thing that women don't understand about men when it comes to dating? Pay for your old stuff. I'll take you out three times if you don't offer to pay i'll ghost you if you're broke just say that you think the guy should pay every it's time not, not every time but like if you're broke just say that it's not about being broke if i pay for you three times you don't offer i'll ghost you i'll ghost you after three that's what i'm saying and this next one this has to be a joke i'm not sure if this girl is serious but just check this out and you guys let me know how short is too short in a guy like six four really how tall are you five eight five eight okay how tall do you think i am five six you serious? Yeah, like Max. You don't I'm think I'm literally taller than you. You think you're taller than me? I'm literally taller. In this next one, I guess this guy decides to talk about the subject of women will only chase guys with a lot of money. I'm not saying all of them are like this, or even most of them are like this. I don't think so at all. But it's definitely a key thing that I think women do look for. And there's nothing wrong with that. But instead of giving the delusion that, you know, girls do not look for kind of money, I think men are just playing themselves if they don't realize it any sooner. It's definitely a plus if you have money, and this guy's just making it clear. Women love money. Yeah. Women will move, leave a man they love for no. a man with money. Hundo. No, that's not no. true. But I, I, I never hear a man say, oh, her bag's brilliant. Oh, look at her bag. I, I hear a girl say he's got a nice watch, he's got a nice car, he's got a nice this, he's got a nice that. That is because they love money. A man don't care what car you drive. Facts. Do you know? Hmm, a man will upgrade you. Facts. That's an interesting point, actually. I've never it's thought about that. Facts. That, that is man don't care what, That's Man don't care what handbag you come. You can come with a Primark handbag. You can, you can care. That, that, it, depends, you. Like, it depends what position the man's in, though, because yeah. anytime, if the man's getting the bus, he cares that you've got a car. Like, he likes the fact that But if you have not he don't care, though. But if you're both on the bus, it, no, if I... you're both on the bus, she is trying to upgrade her Oyster card <laughs> to a passenger seat. Hundo, before she even gets a driving test. Big facts, I'm telling you. And this next one, I guess this girl decided to muster up the confidence to approach her gym crush. And I guess she just did it in a weird way. But just check this out. I, I don't know if this is a good option. You can just poke him. He looks, like, depressed. Should I do it? What should I do? To, should I like, should I touch his face? You know, he has headphones. Sit? Sit? <laughs> he goes, can I help you? <laughs> In this next one, I guess this guy decides to approach his girl and ask her if she likes dancing out in clubs with her girls. She said, of course, yes. And when given her reason why, this guy gives her another place to dance, but she doesn't like that place. Let me know if this is a good excuse, guys, or not. I don't know if this really works. I love going to dance with my girls. Right, but I'm, what I'm saying is if women didn't like being approached by men, why wouldn't they just go to gay clubs? I don't really find that that would be that much fun. Um, so what makes it fun because they're straight men? In this next one, I'm not sure why this girlfriend did this. Apparently, she's practicing witch witchcraft. I don't care if you believe in that kind of stuff or not. It's definitely weird to do it on your boyfriend. I don't believe in it, but just the thought of my girlfriend doing this on me to get, like, you know, payback. There's definitely a deeper meaning behind that. And I guess this girl really just wanted to hurt her boyfriend. You put it on the camera. Like, I literally, that's why I called okay, you. Okay, and? So you did do it? Yeah. Okay. W w it's a hack. A hex? Yeah. What are you? What is a this? A witch. You know I practice okay, well, witchcraft. Do that again. See what happens. You're only hurting yourself. 
I'm hurting my you yeah. sound so yeah. You're stupid. You're only hurting yourself. That's a red flag right there, Bev. And this next one, this girl does not deserve to be in a relationship at all because she believes she should be a free woman while in a relationship with another man, and that's her excuse for cheating. Check this out. Ingo, are you taken? I'm taken. Would you cheat? If he found out, no. If he didn't find out, yeah. Why? Because I want to be a free woman. Then why are you in a relationship? Because I love my boyfriend. True, true love. And this next one, I guess, this girl decides to approach a gym crush once more, and I think this is actually a cool way to do it. But this guy was definitely confused, and I think his expression was hilarious. Yeah. Can you swap me? Yeah, of course. This next one, this guy does not deserve to go on dates either. I don't think this is a smooth way or polite way to, you know, go on dates, especially if you're very serious about that person. Basically, after he's on dates, he decides to, you know, get Uno cards out. Whoever wins Uno doesn't have to pay. This is not a fun way. It's just a very childish way of dealing with, you know, relationships. And I don't think anybody should ever do this. You saved all your money while playing. I'm so cheap. That's probably one of the reasons why I can't keep a woman either. I saw that at the end of dinner, when you go to pay the bill, mm -hmm. you whip out a deck of Uno cards to pay, yeah. and you make them play Uno to decide who pays, pays the, bill. the bill. Yeah, exactly. If I went to dinner with you and I lost at Uno, I would have to pay yeah, you would have to pay the bill. And I'm for the worst clip on the list. Maybe this is just the worst part of like town or something. And these guys just ask the worst kind of girls. I don't think all girls are like this, but let's just say all of them were very, very proud about cheating. And I'm positive that other girls said no, but this is just a clip of a bunch of them saying yes, that they did cheat. And for the ones that did say yes, I just don't like how they were so proud and arrogant about it. If you cheated, be so secret about it. Don't be proud of it. Like, you know, a badge on your shoulder. It's definitely not something you should be proud of. And it should definitely be kept secret. But just check out this clip. Why? What happened? Cuz nothing happened. I just got bored. Okay, okay. How about you? Yes. What happened? I get I lose interest too quick. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I visited University of Florida, but I'm seeing someone at home and I cheated on my boyfriend. Take their money, their car, their house, their energy, yeah, their everything. motivation. Waste their time. Their faith. Waste their time. By the time we're done, they want to kill themselves. <laughs> Have you ever cheated? For sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, guys. In the next one, take care. Peace.